you're sitting here trying to articulate reasonable suspicion. I've got a call that you were parked in front of a bus stop, and then you were relocated here. This is what was dispatched to me. Okay, and did you're you... parked in front of somebody's house. Did... This is not a normal place for people to be parked. Okay. In. And I am asking you to identify yourself. To okay. Okay, and you have to, by law, identify yourself. To I need your ID, sir, to verify who you are. I have to identify myself if you suspect me. Florida, is this a Terry stop? Am I being detained? You are right now. Yes, you Under are. Under suspicion of what crime, sir? Bordering and prowling. I don't know what you're doing. Do you know what? What you're doing. Do you know what loitering is do, under the statute? Sir, loitering. Gonna here's what's going to happen. You're going to give me your driver's license here in a minute, or you're going to go to jail for resisting. Okay. I'm being honest with you. I, I'm going to give him a license, then I'm going to file an internal affairs complaint you on you should. for violating you're, my Fourth you're Amendment totally right. To do Name that. and badge number, sir. My name's Munson, M O N S O N 544. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to give you my Florida investigator's license, which is uh, acceptable. To identify myself. This is incredible. You deputies have no problem violating people's rights, man. Apparently, you took an oath to defend the Constitution, correct? Is that correct? Yeah. Can't get that damn thing out of my wallet. Shit, See you, Florida. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What county is this? Alachua County. Do you all violate citizens' rights all the time? No response to that, Deputy? No response to that. Suspects me of no crime. I haven't broken the law. Under the threat of arrest, has required to give me identification. Now somehow my identity is going to quell his suspicion of whatever it is he has of me. Can you call the supervisor on scene for me please? I asked for a supervisor. If you want to sit around and wait for a supervisor, we're more than happy to do oh, that. Well, you got no problem sitting here detaining do you, do you me. Want, do you want to sit around and wait for a supervisor? I asked for a supervisor. I'd like for you yeah. to call a supervisor. I'm glad you got a smile on your face while you're violating my rights. Do you take an oath to the Constitution, Deputy? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Unbelievable. I suggest you refresh yourself on the law and what reasonable suspicion is. You go ahead and smile now. I will be filing an internal affairs complaint against you. Not that your corrupt internal affairs will do anything about it. Apparently you boys in blue don't know how to break that line. Tell Hoffman, Hoffman, 1031 to 69 at 5429, Valley Pass ACDO license requires 2021. You need the number? 54. Anyone walks in the vehicle? So now you're illegally running me through David. Boys just don't you know, know how to uphold no the law. There's no public record exemption on tax, right? Public what? There's no public Yeah, but you also know the there's a state. You have to have a reasonable cause to run my tag no, through not. David. That's why that state no, trooper, no, no, that's why no, the Florida no. Highway Patrol trooper got uh, sued, right? Okay, sir, listen. If, if I ran your emergency contact, look to your emergency contact information. Just a minute. That were not on. 6 with a valid decal until October 31st. You know, we got stuff May I ask why you're running my tag? Because you're parked in front of a house you do not live in. Is that suspicious? Is that suspicious? It's very suspicious. You don't even live here. You're oh, in this you're time and town. age, right, with terrorists and everything, right? At this time and age. Okay. You need to move your vehicle out from in front of her house. Why? So you need to move your vehicle out from your house. Okay? So you're saying it's illegal for me to sit there? 
is there even a shoulder you're parked in the grass? It's even an a easement, there? Uh, 33 feet from the center line. Are you, are you, are you giving me a lawful you're free command? You're to go. You can go. Or you can wait for the supervisor to come. I'm going to wait for the supervisor. Please do. Don't go back in your vehicle. Why can't I go back in my vehicle? Because I'm standing out here and I don't know what's in your vehicle. If you're gonna, if you want us to stand here to wait for a supervisor, I'm good with that. But I am, because of the way you're acting, I'm not gonna let you get back in your vehicle unless you leave. Because I don't know what's in your vehicle. So can I cannot, can I not stay on the side of the road? You can get in your vehicle and you can leave. But I can't get in my vehicle and sit there. Or you can stand right here and wait for the supervisor because I don't know what's in your vehicle. Are you gonna stay here and wait as well? I'm gonna stand right here and wait with you. All right. So once again, once the supervisor leaves and you leaves, am I allowed to sit there and stay there? That's a simple yes or no question. Why are you sitting here? I sitting am here? working. Okay, where, where are you working? That's most, none of your, none most, of your damn never business. Had this much problem. None ever. of your damn, you know why? Because you don't have people who know how to stand up for their rights and can't stand arrogant, illegal acting cops. That's why. You've came here, you've required me to show ID when I didn't have to. I'm sitting on the side of a road, I haven't broken a law, and you have uh, abused your authority. That gun and that badge doesn't give you abusive rights. Can I just ask you a quick question? Sure, go right ahead. Do you have a house? Do I have a house? Do you live somewhere? No, I, I live under a fucking rock. See, now, you're, you're being sarcastic, and I'm being, I'm just asking you honest questions. You're what getting do upset, you I'm not even think? Do you, so you live in a house, you got private property, right? So you, in your experience, yeah. if somebody was parked right in front of your house like that vehicle is, yeah. would that rouse your suspicion? Uh, perhaps, yeah. Would you call law enforcement? Uh, no. You'd probably go out and handle it yourself. Probably. Would you arm yourself and go out there and do it? Uh, may or may not. Okay, well, not everyone has that courage, sir. They're not as brave as you. So that's when they call us because this is who we swore our oath to, the citizens of Ohio. Okay. County. All right. So I came here. Yep. Now I have to verify who you are. Well, well, now, well let, let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. See, you think this is funny, Deputy. No, I do not think Let's this make is funny. it serious. Let's, look, let's talk to each other, two gentlemen, okay? You do understand the Fourth Amendment, right, Deputy? What, what does the Fourth Amendment guarantee? I'm not going to say here. You're, you're, See, you don't I'm want to talk about something. You're going to lose that. You, you, keep shut, you keep shutting me down. I'm trying to explain to you what's no, going on. No, you're not. You're avoiding it. I'm asking. I'm answering your questions, and you don't want to answer mine. I have a Fourth Amendment right guaranteed by the U.S. Constitution that says I am free from illegal search and seizures. There is Florida statute which states in order for me to ID myself, again, listen to me carefully, in order for me to be required to identify myself in the state of Florida, I must A, be under arrest, or B, you must have RAS or PC that I have committed a crime or am about to commit a crime. Exactly. You have none of those standards. You have come here and say... You didn't say, even listen to me. You uh, didn't listen to what I all said. Right, then I go tried ahead. to explain this very nicely to you, sir. Suspicion. I have... No, then that's all I need. That, Reasonable suspicion that a crime is or about or has been committed. Am I, am I in Bizarro World or is this deputy not understanding the English language? Okay? Listen to me once again. In order to require me to ID myself, see, so you don't want to listen. Going in circles, no, because you're not listening. You're standing here for the supervisor. I don't particularly want to talk to you anymore. You're free to get in your car and leave. No, if you see, want to get in your you're car, not you can listening. Leave, or you can wait for the supervisor. What crime do you suspect me of committing or about to now? Commit? Now that I've identified you, none. How did identifying me ease your assessment that I was about to commit a crime? You can't answer that, can you? That's why you turn away and you laugh because you know that you've been caught in an illegal act. What? Stand over in front of my car, please. I'm not under and still detained. You have no control or custody leave. over me. You're not coming I don't near me. You don't tell me what to do. I'm telling you you're not coming near me. I didn't, I'm not coming near you. Leave, I'm looking to see what this deputy. Make sure you don't get a rifle and shoot me. You know, you cops aren't known for shooting people. To back to my point where you were embarrassed because I caught you in a, uh, yeah. Because you can't state a crime that you suspect me of committing. You want to say suspicion. Suspicion is not a crime. Loitering, which is also contempt of cop. That standard's also not met because under the Florida statute, you must give me a reason to articulate why I'm in the area I am. I explained to you that I'm an investigator and I'm working. 
So that quells your interest. I tell you, man. You all wonder why cops are being shot in the street. Unbelievable. What's your patrol number? Do you have a patrol number or ID number? May I have it again? I honestly, I honestly, to be honest with you, I don't remember. I'm not asking you to make it say it again. I don't remember you giving it to me. I do remember you saying your name is... Detective Tell, or Deputy Tell, ID 14. I appreciate that very much. No problem. See, you, I, I can tell by your body language, man. I'm a certified interrogator. I've been doing this job yeah. for 16 years. Okay. All right? It, look at your okay, body. Yeah. Look at I your mean, body you, language. You can't have a conversation. I really? tried to have a conversation. I'm ha with you. What are we? What are we doing and now? You're doing is jumping up and down. You're. you're I'm jumping upset. up and down. You don't know anything. You're being insulting. You're being rude. But you want me to be nice to you. That's I'm not you asking you to be. be I'm not asking you to be nice. You okay. haven't been nice to me. You violated my Fourth Amendment. You're telling me what to do and what I can't do. You told me I can't stay there when I have every legal right to sit there. See, you think that's all okay. Because once again, you have that gun and that badge, and you think that gives you the right to tell people what to do when you have no legal authority to do so. You, you, you can't deny any of that, can you? See, your body language is saying I'm absolutely right in what I'm saying, and you're embarrassed about it. So, I'm so glad you got that figured out. Yeah, yeah. No, you're... Genius, you got it all worked out. Yeah, yeah. You're fast here, you're correction, private investigation, sure. Yeah. You got it all worked out. Guarantee my fucking IQ is higher than yours, buddy. Yeah. Guarantee. Maybe. Yeah, no maybe about it. Maybe. Guarantee it. It's possible. I'm smart enough to not violate people's rights. I'm smart enough to expose corrupt cops. Yeah, just like I exposed your ass. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, a lot of people see you on YouTube. That's fine. Yeah, I know it's fine. It's, I've got no problem with it. I'm not the one that got to go home to my night, pretend I'm a hero, go to my family tonight, pretend I'm a hero, protecting people's rights and this world that we live in with all the terrorism and everything. Yeah, you're not being insulted at all. Yeah. Like you deserve any better. I tell you what, I'm gonna just go wait up at my vehicle. Yeah, sir, I don't, I don't listen really, to me. Do not go. I do not know what's in I your vehicle. I didn't say in. I did not I, I say want, you're in. You're gonna either wait here or you're gonna leave. You're not going in that bit near I that vehicle. Just go stand you're not over going there. near that vehicle. I do not know what's in that vehicle, and the way you're acting right now, I don't trust you. You're gonna either stand here and wait for the supervisor, or you're gonna tell me you're gonna leave, and then we're gonna get in our car and leave. Am I being detained? How would you like to? What did I just tell you? You can leave, but then we're leaving. That's the bottom line. If you're going back to the vehicle, we're going to get Go out ahead of here. and leave. I'll wait for the supervisor. She's not coming up here by herself. I can tell you that right now. She's not. And I'm, I, would, I would not allow I'm her. I'm such come up a here scary guy. <laughs> Is it okay if I put my ID back in my wallet? Absolutely. Okay, I have no weapons on me. Absolutely. I'm not gonna make any furtive Absolutely. movements. Make sure you don't pull your weapon and shoot Absolutely, me, okay? Sir. You can put your ID back in your pocket. All right, I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna move now, okay? Okay. Oh, I know what it is. You're a Gators fan, and I'm wearing Seminoles. That must be what it is. I am in Gator country. You can be honest. Is that what it is? You have no problem with this officer's illegal actions, officer? Uh, he's not violating my Fourth Amendment? How come you all automatically say it's arguing? I am just asking you a question. And because you don't want to answer it, you want to classify it as arguing. Does it sound like we're arguing? Or does it sound like I'm trying to communicate with you and ask you a question? You want nothing to do with that, right? Incredible. Tax dollars hard at work, gentlemen. How you doing, ma'am? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. What's My name is Mike Hoffman. Okay, I'm Sergeant Phillips. Your ID number, Sergeant Phillips? 409. Okay. 
Um, has this officer explained to you what's happened? Um, it's my understanding someone called in about your vehicle being parked on private property. Okay. All right. And then that you weren't happy with the way they were handling it. And okay. So they called me. May I ask you, is what I'm doing sitting here, is that in a crime? Um, if this is private property, yes. Okay. It's public easement, is it not? Um, without looking at... Uh, you know what public easement is, I know correct? what an easement is, Okay. Yes. All right. Now, you've been, a, you're a sergeant, so I know correct. you've been on the force for a while. Correct. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, although not semantically accurate with the law, you're probably accurate enough to know how far easement goes off the road. And the fact that someone pulled right off the shoulder is on public easement. I mean, if you would give me that much? Okay. okay. Let's go with this. Let's assume that I'm on public easement. Where I'm parked, is that a crime? Well, let me ask you this. Where, I mean, do you have a purpose for being here? I do. What's that? I don't need one. I will articulate to you why I'm here, okay. but I don't need one. I can be simply parked there for no reason whatsoever. Will we agree that is not a crime? Well, I'm not going to argue right now, easement or not, okay? I'm saying right now we're here for a reason. Someone called us to come check out your vehicle and what they're doing parked in front of their house. And that is totally acceptable, and I have no issue with that. Okay. I think you're doing your job right. there, and I think that's your job, and right. I have no issue with that. Okay. Where I draw the issue is when this deputy over here demanded under the threat of arrest for me to ID myself. When I clearly articulated to this deputy, by the U.S. Constitution, I'm guaranteed a Fourth Amendment right. Not only that, under Florida statute and Florida, US, Florida Constitution, he, under Florida statute, he must either have RAS or PC that I've either committed a crime or about to commit a crime. I'm going to stand over here if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, about to commit a crime before or be under arrest before I am required by law to present an ID. Hold on, just one second. Four, nine. So now these deputies are going to try to find a reason to jam me up. Okay, so do you agree with what I just said? Well, let me, like you said, we're here for a reason. Okay? I don't disagree. All right. So when we make contact with someone, that's the first thing we do is identify them so we know who we're out with. That's your okay? policy. I agree with that. But again, I'm talking about the law when he has a right to demand under the color of authority, code US, US Code 18, Section 242, which is deprivation of rights under the color of law. When you all put that badge on and take an oath, you become what's under the color of law. You I have understand. authority given to you. And he must meet certain requirements in order to use that authority under the color of law. What he did was threaten me with arrest if I did not give him ID. I articulated to him that he had to have certain standards met to demand ID from me. Is that, isn't that Are we, correct? Have you, at any point, have you given them ID or no? I had to. He said he was going to lock me up. He said he was going to arrest me. Okay. So you provided ID. Obviously, Under the threat of being arrested. Okay. So obviously we know who you are. Yes. You, um... All right, and you said you would explain to me your purpose for being I'm here, an right? investigator, as I explained to him. Uh, private before, investigator? That's correct. Before okay. I gave him my ID, I said, look, I'm an investigator. I'm working. He wanted to know who I was working. I told him it was none of his damn business okay. who I was working. And actually, under the law, if I'm not allowed to tell law enforcement, I can get in trouble with the law if I tell you who I'm working. Mm, I don't... Uh, statute well, 493. Well, I know in the, in the past when we what? have a... I'm sorry? I never asked you who you're working for. Okay, would you like me to stop the video? Right, hold you, on. you want to stand fast yeah, on that, listen, Deputy? Listen, I'm standing here to help. Okay, just. Yeah, but he just told a lie. Okay, well, I know in the past when people are working as a private investigator, they will call our community. Normally, yes, yes. To let them know I'm out here at this address so we don't get calls like this, but, right? So and we the, could have avoided this whole Well, no, that's not necessarily true. And you are correct. That's something we normally do. It is a, it is a courtesy, it's not a requirement. Right. But I have found in the recent past, irregardless if I call in or not, I'm approached. I've had Depsy tell me it doesn't make a difference if you called in. I have to come out and approach you. So it does no good to call in. And at times, calling in has got me burnt on cases. So I use my discretion on whether I'm going to call in or not. This wasn't my starting point. So, you know, normally when you do call in, it's from a starting point. I can't call in every time you I go mean mobile. You move location? Correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So it would be it would be a nuisance for me to call five or six times when my subject goes mobile. You know, okay, now I'm at this location. It's it's you know what I'm saying. Fair so now again, I acknowledge what you're saying. You are correct in that. But let's get back to the semantical part and why I'm upset. Why this deputy violated my rights? And I, I want to lock you down on that because I feel you're being somewhat invasive in that. I look. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. I'm an activist in my personal life. I've been an investigator for 16 years. I'm ex-law enforcement. He wants to say it's a joke because it was in the Department of Corrections. Okay, whatever. It was, gonna... it was 20 years ago. Yeah, whatever. And, and I say that just to try to get some professional courtesy, you know. 
bottom line, Sergeant, he violated my Fourth Amendment, and he thinks it's okay. He's, he thinks he's done nothing wrong. I'm going to file an internal affairs complaint on him, and but I want a sergeant. And nothing. I look. I'm not even kidding myself. Nothing's going to come of it. All right. I've been doing my activism for years, and you know, the, the, it's not a thin blue line. It's a thick ass blue line. I used to be part of it. I understand it. I don't agree with it, but I understand it. But I have an issue. I want this gentleman count. Well, first of all, I want you to acknowledge well, or I either. Guess what I, I, like you said, if your prior law enforcement corrections, whatever, and you said professional courtesy, it seems like you would have extended that to them. I did. When they. When I got out of the vehicle, I raised my arms, told him I had no weapons. I lifted my shirt up. I turned around to give him officer safety so right. he has no concern. Okay. That's his immediate concern. Am I sure. a threat to him? Right. Okay, I, I expelled that threat. Then I came over and we were talking. And he says, well, I want your ID. I said, well, Deputy, I said, please, don't get me wrong. I know where this is about to go. I explained to him I'm an activist in my personal life and I stand up for my rights. And I explained to him, it's not that I don't want to give you my ID, but because I'm an activist, I stand firm on my constitutional rights. I explained to him about the Fourth Amendment and I explained he doesn't have a legal right to demand my ID. Well, we're here for a call. We're here for a purpose. It's not like this was a self-initiated call. We got a call from a citizen. We have a legal right to be here. Yes, and yes. And to find out who you are and know what you're doing. But see, you don't You don't have a legal right to ID me. Are you, are you, and I'm looking for, nobody will answer. When I confronted him on that, he wants to turn around and laugh and smile. But what I said, is it not true or is it true? And I'll repeat what I said. In the state of Florida, for a Terry stop, okay? This is Exactly. It wasn't a traffic, and I'm not required to produce ID. This is not a stop and ID state. In the state of Florida, under statute, in order for me to be required to ID myself, you must either suspect me of committing a crime or about to commit a crime, and you must either have PC of that or RAS. He kept on saying his reasonable suspicion was just suspicion. That's what he thinks his standard is for me to be required to ID. And I asked him, sir, suspicion of what crime? And he's like, I don't think you've committed a crime. I have suspicion. You're suspicious. You're here. That, do you see where I'm going? I, I, I do. Um, but I guess I would like to, at this point, move on, though, and try to get this resolved. I'm sure you obviously have a job to do, right? Yeah, You're on. But how's it going to be resolved? I would like acknowledgement. And if you don't feel comfortable, I'd like for you to say so for the record. Am I correct in my stance about what he needs to demand ID? Or is he right? Because, again, he threatened me with arrest. It's all on video. His mind. I will be following the PRR to get that video and that audio. He's confirmed to me it's all on audio and video. I have mine. I missed most okay. of it because I wasn't recording it right away. Okay. It wasn't until he threatened me with arrest that I'm Sorry. like, well, shit, I need to turn my camera on. You know, this guy's going to put, and he told me, if you don't get your ID out, I'm going to take you to jail. I'm going to arrest you. That, that's, that's a threat. He's threatened to do bodily harm to me, kidnap me. And I know that may be a funny term, but legally that's what it is when he doesn't have the authority under the color of law to do what he did. And then you know what he tells me? I forgot about this part. He says, I can't be there. He told me to get in my truck and leave. I said, I'm working. I have every right to be there. Then he wouldn't let me go back to my truck. Thinks I'm going to go get a weapon and shoot him. Okay. Well, he, that's I, he just, safety. Well, no, no, it's not. He, I'm not being detained. He doesn't expect me to come around. No, 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 you're not being detained. But anytime, like on a traffic stop, when we approach a vehicle and someone needs to get something out of their vehicle, we walk yeah, with But it's over with. He was done with me. He said I couldn't get back to my vehicle until he left. He doesn't have any right to control okay. me like that. All right. Like I said, you, you're here on a job. And I know you said you won't tell us who you work for or whatever. Um, is there any way that we can confirm that you're here doing a private investigate or... I gave my investigator's license. Oh, you did? Okay, I'm yes, sorry. You didn't tell me that. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, ma'am. I ID'd myself. That All was right, my so ID. We, we know who you are. We know who you work for, and that's why you're here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you talked to... Give me just one second. Yes, okay? ma'am. The who? On State Road, just 33 feet from the center line. This isn't a state I, I, Let me finish. I believe on County Roads, I know I'm right on State Roads. I believe County Roads is 13 feet. I believe. Um, and, you know, so I, and I state that because I'm not absolutely sure. State Roads, 33 feet. Um, so, again, you know, it's no sense in re, re um Right, like I said, I want to move forward at this point and try to yeah. resolve it. Obviously, like I said, they were here um, on a call. She's you know, a mom, young kids, she's saying, I guess there's a bus stop right no down here. I have no problem with none right. of that. So when they show up and make contact with you, they have a right to ask for your identification. Ask. 
ask. They have a right to ask. He does not have a right to threaten me with arrest, which he did. Well, honestly, right when they show up on a call and they ask for your ID and you refuse to give it to them when they're here for a lawful reason, that is could be considered resisting with, without. That is an arrestable offense. Uh, I, I know the subsection for resisting without violence. It's 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 not. See, do you see where I'm going with this? You know, I'm an activist. I, I'm I'm pretty well versed in the laws. I do this in my personal life. I've been arrested three times. I have two cases going to the Florida Supreme Court. Okay. One of them is over this very same matter, which I'm about to sue the state for five million dollars. All right. So I think I'm pretty well versed on what I'm doing. And again, you all can't you all can't use and I apologize for my tone and and my my what can be perceived as hyper. Yeah, the guy threatened to arrest me, man. Take my freedom away. And he doesn't have a right. You all can make excuses or try to justify it. Yes, you have every right to be here. A citizen's concerned. To identify you. You don't what do you do, ma'am, you're a deputy. Do you know what the law says? What does the law say? Because we're here on a call. Like I said, we did not itself initiate. She calls in a suspicious vehicle. She doesn't know the vehicle. She doesn't know if there's someone inside the vehicle. So when we get here, we don't know who you are. We don't know if the bus stop down here, if you're waiting to kidnap a kid. We don't know okay. if you're a sex offender and okay. not supposed to be by a bus stop. We don't know all that until we identify you. But what does the law say about you demanding ID? That's what I'm asking you to say, because that's what this whole issue is over. We're dancing around it with every other thing. I don't just disagree with you on anything you said, except the semantical point of demanding ID. I mean, and, and again, you, you, you've yet to answer that. I, I, I've told you three times what the law says very succinctly, and you've not yet acknowledged it or denied it. And I would think a deputy of the statue of sergeant would be pretty well versed in what it takes to demand ID under the color of law, U.S. Code 18242, deprivation of rights under the color of law. Okay? Well, you, you're convinced that you're right. Based on your right. knowledge of the law and stuff like that. Will you that. do this for me? Will you research it today? And just out of, out of, I would say professional courtesy, but I'm not going to get any. Just, 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 I'm not being just, not you're not at all. You've been very polite. You haven't threatened me with violence or arrest. You've been very polite. You've been patient with me. I appreciate that more than you know. There's many times I get the attitude these two deputies have shown. This guy here is don't want to open his mouth. And this guy here thinks everything's a joke. Okay. Um, you know, so what I'm asking you to do is, for the future, please take 15, 20 minutes today, research the law, and I'll give it to you one final time. In the state of Florida, the statute says to demand, not ask, to demand ID, you must have reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed, or PC, that I've committed a crime, or I'm about to commit a crime. Right, and we don't know why you're here if you are about to commit a crime. We identify who do you, you, are do you know what that means? You don't get to use that as an excuse. Reasonable technical suspicion means you must be able to articulate what crime I've either committed or about to commit. You don't get to say, oh, well, we think you might commit a crime. You might be a bank robber. You might be wanted. You might be a child molester. You might be just a... Which, like you said, though, you understand our, our concern when we pull up and don't know why. I do, but I also expect you of taking an oath to the Florida Constitution, the U.S. Constitution, and being a servant to the citizens. I expect you to uphold the law because you guys take every opportunity to say that I'm enforcing the law. But when I see officers break the law, they're not so quick to stand fast on it. And that's what that deputy has done. He has broken the law by violating my constitutional rights. And I know that's maybe all, we can just brush that aside, that's no big deal. We're doing what we're supposed to do. I'm asking you to look at, really look deep into it, what I'm saying. We're losing our way in this country, deputy. I'm Citizens' rights are getting violated. Citizens are getting killed. This guy wouldn't even let me go back in my vehicle. He acted like I was a terrorist. All right. So, so we're done, I, I, I appreciate it. You, I guess, are you gonna move? I'm gonna stay there. I have your legal right to be That's there. Okay. I'm not, and and normally if I see a person come out, You'll get out and talk I'm like, hey, I'm an investigator. Here's my license. I show them my ID real quick. Number one, they're not law enforcement, but I want to put them at ease. I understand if somebody, if some knucklehead was parked in front of my house. You would call to No, I wouldn't. Or you both I, go damn out. right. But a female home by yourself. I understand. I understand that, and that's why I try to do everything. If I saw her, ma'am, I'm an investigator. If you feel comfortable, call the shit. If that make you feel more comfortable, here's my license. You know, because I, I don't want this. Right. I don't, don't either. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I, I appreciate your time very much. I asked you two things. 
I'd like you to research the law, and if you verify what I said is true, I want him counseled. Um, I will be doing a PRR on his video and audio, and um, I will be filing an internal affairs complaint because I believe I'm steady in my, my claim. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Is it okay for me to go to my vehicle? Okay, thank you.